So a few people have asked me, hey, Jesse, what TV shows is your music playing in? I'd like to be able to listen to some of it or maybe even be aware of some of the stuff you've been doing. And I realized I haven't really talked about the exact shows uh, that my music is in. So I'm gonna do that today uh, and give you a sort of breakdown of some of the bigger shows and just a kind of a crazy list of shows that I've actually gotten my music into. Um, now, this is not meant to be braggy or to show off all this stuff. Um, what I wanna do is I'm gonna go through all this and kind of show you some of the stuff I've done, but I also want you to remember that even though this list might look massive to you right now, Obviously, this did not come overnight. And in fact, this list we're about to go through started with one TV show, okay? And then after a couple of cycles, it grew to 10 TV shows, and then 25, and eventually 50, and it kept growing and growing. And now I'm up to uh, 255 series and 13 non-series, so that's 268 shows. And if you add up all the episodes, here it is, you know, almost 2,000 episodes uh, of stuff on TV that's used my music. Some of it's still currently airing, some of it's gone off the air, so it's all over the place, but it's a massive list, it's a lot of music, and it's a lot of TV shows, but I just want you to know, it starts with one TV show, okay? So I know that you um, might be overwhelmed by like, Jesus, how long is it gonna take me to get there? You can't look at it that way. You have to look at it as one uh, royalty statement at a time, one quarter at a time, and one TV show at a time that you sort of get your tracks on. Um, but as you can see on the left here, this is my account. Um, and um, I'll just scroll through some of these shows. You can kind of see um, maybe some of these shows you like, you've watched or whatever, and you uh, maybe didn't know my music was on it, which is cool. So um, they got, well, the Olympics actually used it, and both times they used it um, in a couple of promos. Uh, let's see, Access Hollywood. I got a lot of those a few years back. They, they just went through a bunch of my tracks. Um, American Idol, as you can see here, America's Next Top Model, um, Bad Girls Club. Uh, I'm gonna kind of try to point out maybe the more notable ones that you guys have heard of. Um, a lot of these, they're, you know, some of them are just on local TV um, outlets. They're not necessarily nationwide, so some of them pay more than others. Obviously, the big popular ones, they typically have the better payouts. Um, but just so you guys know, a lot of this stuff I've never heard of. Like I, most of this thing, most of these shows I've actually never even watched. So um, I don't know if they're good or not, but I'm glad that my music is getting placed and I'm earning some uh, uh, income off of them. So uh, Black Ink Crew, definitely seen that one. Um, you know, stuff like this, like a Bravo's Top 10 Vacation Specials. This is like a one-off show that they put together um, where they need some music for that. Cage, do you guys have probably seen that or heard of that? Catfish, the TV show, you know, for better or for worse, that one's on there. Uh, CBS Sports Spectacular, uh, that was a pretty good one. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, Dateline NBC. I didn't even know I had Dateline NBC. That's pretty cool. Sometimes you log in and you realize you didn't even have that. So that's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, I mean, it's not a funny show, but it kind of is just, I don't know, it's a ridiculous show. Uh, Dual Survivor, I've done a lot of survival shows. Um, this is a massive one that they use a lot, a lot of my music and a lot of my um, royalties center around that show. Um, e! News, The Edge Show. Uh, Fox Sports, as you can see, a lot of Fox Sports. They do a lot of uh, regional so stuff, as you can see. So Southwest, Wisconsin, some of it's just specific to a state. Um, Hack My Life, Hardcore, uh, Pawn, Chicago. Maybe you guys have heard of that one. Uh, let's see, Hollywood Medium. I was doing that actually fairly recently. Um, Ice Cold Killers. I actually had a friend who starred in this one. He actually played, I think they do sort of like a reenact. I've never seen the show, but they do reenactments of it. And he actually got on one of those shows. So that was kind of cool. I don't know if my music made onto his uh, episode or not. Uh, is OJ Innocent, The Missing Evidence? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Jack Hanna's Wild Countdown. That's cool. Uh, Judge Judy, uh, for those of you that stay at home and watch that show. Um, let's see, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, uh, Late Night with Craig Ferguson, that was an old, old one, that was one of the first uh, placements that I got many years ago, Let's Be Cops, that was a movie that came out a few years back, um, not the best movie, wasn't that happy with that movie, I almost walked out of it, um, but it was cool, my track was in it, actually, if you watch that movie, there's a scene where, uh, like, an, a Humvee is pulling up and on a, um, a club, and there's kind of a dance song playing in the Humvee. That's my track playing in there. Um, Love and Hip Hop. That one, that was the first one that I got where I got a feature track. So there was um, um, a um, an actress in that show, uh, Samaya Reese. Samaya Reese. And uh, I had produced a couple tracks for her before she got on that show, but they wanted to use some of her original music, and luckily I was the producer of that. So they actually had her performing these songs on the show, and I got pretty nicely paid for that because it was a feature. Um, it was a performance, basically, in it. So that was pretty cool. 
Uh, moving on. Uh, Made, that's that MTV show you guys have probably heard about. MLB, a lot of baseball stuff. Um, morning shows, My Haunted House. Okay, moving on. Nothing on that one so much. NASCAR, as you can see, lots of NASCAR stuff. I, I'm kind of a rock and pop guy, so a lot of that stuff, uh, they use that stuff all over the place. Um, NBC Sports, National Geographic, Taboo. That was also a really early one that I got. Um, NFL on Fox. So that's actually one I hadn't seen yet. I'll have to look and see what they used on. That was 2016. Um... Let's see, Pawn Stars, you guys know that one, um, Queen Latifah Show, let's see, let's see, South Beach Toe, I think that's one on um, True TV, uh, okay, Swamp People, uh, TD Jakes, that was the new talk show, um, I took a stab at the theme song, I didn't get it, but we ended up getting some other cues, I think some other stings that they used on that one, um, The Stylish, Toddlers and Tierras. Um, Vanderpump Rules, Vice from HBO, Wahlburgers, Weekend Fix, Woodsman. So anyways, guys, so yeah, that's just kind of a look at um, some of the uh, series that uh, basically has used my music. So, and again, you know, this is a lot of stuff and it's kind of sometimes I log in and again, every couple of months I log in just to see what's going on. And I actually can't believe that like some new, some of these, uh, like NBC, like some of these, I'm actually gonna go now and kind of look at what they use and see what happened. Um, in fact, let me do that right now since we're, um, since we're here, I actually wanna see, where was that NBC one? Uh, oh, I guess I should, NBC, right? How about we use uh, um, MN, that'd be next one. NBC on NFL on Fox. Sorry, it wasn't NF. It wasn't NFC. Uh, NBC was NFL. Oh, okay. So you can actually see which um, game it was played. So let's just look at the top one. Uh, details. Now you can, you can see the air date here. It was the, on October 16, 2016. Q sequences. That's where you look it up. Now you can scroll through all of these and try to find yourself. Or what I like to do is I'll just do a find thing and I'll put um, my last name, find myself there, and boom. There we go. So I had a background cue. It went 31 seconds. And yeah. So and sometimes you can hit it again, see if you got another one. Nope. I just got one on that one. So then you can go back. Maybe look at the next one and see if they're using the same stuff on every one. You, you use your find. And then this one's 21 seconds. Um, so that one's positive feedback. Let's see what else was going on on, on this. Whoops. Forward. Uh, let's go for the, to the. Oh. Uh, yeah, this website's not always the best. Let me go to the next one. Um, okay, the third one, I just wanna see. So sometimes I'll just do this and kind of see what's getting used. This is an, also a great way to find out which one of your cues is, um, yeah, it seems like I keep going this, to this one cue, positive feedback. So what I can do is then go into my um, catalog, go find out which track this is, positive feedback, and kind of see here like, oh, okay, so NFL, they love this kind of stuff. And that can sometimes give you a clue as to which, because sometimes you'll send 12 tracks to a library and maybe one or two of them get all the love. They just keep getting placed, keep getting placed. And that should be a good indication for you moving forward, maybe what kind of tracks you want to start supplying your current music libraries with. So, but um, anyways, guys, that's, uh, that's what I wanted to show you today. So I know that um, I don't really talk so much about some of the stuff that I do. A lot of the stuff that I'm currently working on, there's normally non-disclosures. I'm not allowed to talk about it, obviously, because some of the shows that I submit for are currently in production. They don't want anything leaking out. Um, and obviously the briefs, they don't want those being shared in public. So I can't always tell you guys exactly what I'm working on. But when I can, I try to and let you guys know. Um, what's happening. But again, uh, remember, take from all of this that you can get to this place, like you can get to the point where your numbers start looking like this, and you have this much music out there circulating, getting you placements passively, even when you're sleeping, it can definitely happen, but it does not happen overnight. It takes consistency, you keep have you have to keep going. And remember, at one point, you know, I have 11 pages here down here, full of I think there's like 25 per, per page. Um, you know, at one point, this was one page, and it had a couple of TV shows, and that was it. I was stoked, I was super happy, but this doesn't happen overnight. So I just wanna reiterate that to you that you can get to where I, I am today and beyond me. You can totally blow me away and, and get above and beyond and get numbers like this. But uh, my strategy in this industry is a numbers strategy, okay? So you definitely need to have quality. You need to like make sure that you keep your production quality up. But if you're not hitting numbers like this, 
the chances of making your full-time income just are much lower because you don't wanna just hope that you get a couple of tracks in some big places and then get those large royalty checks and then that can float you around. You gotta just kinda of be prepared for the fact that most of your placements are gonna be in that maybe 25 to $50 range per airing on TV, right? So if that's what you're getting per placement and you're only doing 12 tracks a year and you don't get some of those big, big placements, the chances of you doing this full-time as you can see, are just much lower then. But if you had cranked out 50 songs in that one year, you can see now why the number game is a much better approach to this. So, um, you know, one thing that I've been talking about some of the members in the syndicate is don't let perfection be the enemy of the good. And, and that I mean, don't, you know, if you're, if you're so worried and concerned about your tracks being just perfect before you submit them and you're doing like one track a month, be aware that there's a downside to that, okay? So the, the upside is that you're taking your time and maybe you have the best sounding track ever, the downside is that you are going to slow your progression. You're going to slow your growth in this industry. And there are pros and cons to tra cranking out tracks a lot faster or taking a long time and kind of sitting with things for a lot longer. Um, again, I've always recommended you try to get up to two to three tracks per week. That should be your sort of benchmark that you strive towards as you get further and further into this industry. If you're doing one track a month right now, try to do one track every two weeks. At least cut it in half right now. Try to get two tracks a month. Then once you can get up to that flow, do one track a week and then you're now you're up to four and now you've quadrupled your productivity and quadrupled your chances of getting more placements and that means more income and that means quitting your job getting out of your day job much faster and living off of passive income okay so i'm going to stop rambling now that's all i wanted to say i hope you guys have a great rest of the day if you enjoyed this video leave a like uh, if you like content like this make sure you subscribe I'm always putting out new videos, new content. Um, if you haven't enrolled in my free five-day course, you need to click on that button below this video. I have a lot of questions and a lot of comments on my YouTube channel, and I basically answer most of those questions in that free five-day course. It doesn't cost you a penny, and you're gonna learn so much about how to get started and build up your royalties and your catalog so you start to see these kind of numbers and these kind of TV shows in your um, PRO account when you log in online, okay? So you guys have a great day.